My name is Mike Harrison. I'm a consultant forester, uh, educated and trained uh, in the field of forestry. And I practiced forestry in this county for 39 years. I'm fairly familiar with it. And um, so I want to, forestry hadn't had a kick tonight, so I want to represent that. <clears throat> Over those 39 years, everywhere there's a pipeline, a gas pipeline in this county, <clears throat> very, very shallow. It always has to be addressed when you approach those properties. When you thin or do any kind of practice with heavy equipment, especially with an 80,000 pound log truck. That's the, that's the limit of the law on the roads. <clears throat> and you have to bring that out of the woods when you do those practices. It's always addressed. Whenever you approach those right of ways with that type of equipment, they're always there. They know you're there. And, they, and, and, I, and I think most of the timber companies these days are required to let them know that they're about to cross those gas lines. Most of, most of the ones that I work, I work this county and about five surrounding counties, Cockrell County. And I've worked in most of the ones that you're going through. And the, and the, and the gas line that's uh, prevalent in most of these counties all about 30 to 35, 40 inches deep in the ground. And um, according to how much erosion you have. But in a lot of cases, that weight of that truck, um, you have to supplement what's on top of the ground. And, and you would think that the timber companies are the one that pick up expense, but the private landowner is the one that gets dealt that expense when you when they have to put the extra money in to cross those those lines. So I, I, I guess my main point is we've got to get these pipes in the ground deep enough to be able to operate. We're private landowners for the most most for the most cases in this county. And we're not just agricultural. If my figures are right, I think we're about half and half. Timberland in Agland. It's a large county. And um, one of the uh, largest industries in the state of Georgia, and certainly very important in Crawford County, the private landowner depends on timber income from one point or the other, not like an ag crop. But this is an expense to him that the gas company should have done from the very start. The line should have been under the ground deep enough. And I know we had different times back in the 50s. We probably didn't have many 80,000 pound log trucks and we probably didn't have very many million dollar logging outfits. And so it's, it's changed over time. So that's where we are now. And so I felt it my obligation to bring that out. Very important. Because the landowner is the one that has to go back. Not only is he still paying taxes on that land, he's having to go back and take care of what the gas companies didn't do. So that is very important, just as important in a field, maybe more so with, with that type of But most farmers do have timberland and, they, and, and it's a dual purpose. But, um, and also the other thing I'd like to mention is this county is just full of creeks. And your line will cross several creeks. And I'm real concerned um, with creeks. I always have been. We've always buffed them when we log. Always have, even before the requirement with best management practices. We were required to treat creeks in a certain way. But I don't know of any regulations that it takes to put a gas line across. I, I didn't see it in the 50s and I, I hadn't seen one lately. But we, when, when we log timber, we have to um, abide by best, best management practices. There's a lot of details in that as to how much you leave and what you can do and what you can't do about impeding the flow of a stream. And I've seen several streams on the old line where the pipe's exposed. More than one, several, was exposed with erosion. That really needs to be addressed. I can't express how poor that is and how dangerous that could be with um, just normal operations of what goes on today for a landowner to be able to have income off his property and to um, um, 
act in a normal way. Thanks. Thanks, sir.